Hello and welcome back to the Antarium. In today's video, we'll be moving our Paganomyrex rugosus colony to a new nest that we made for them. As you can see, the ants are really starting to get overcrowded in here. They've been in these two nests for quite some time, well over a year now, and they're just really in need of an upgrade. The two formicarians they've been occupying for over a year are actually two of these mini hers from Tar Heel Ants. Excellent product, I highly recommend them. If you ever want professionally done formicarians, you can always go to his website for Mac Pigeon and check out Tar Heel Ants. They have a wide range of things and they can mail just about anything for you. As you can tell by that brood pile and that pupa, their production has not slowed down at all. That's exactly why they need this upgrade, because eventually they're going to be bursting at the seams here. Here you can see all the trash and debris from all their seed husking. It's piled sky high. And if you don't keep up with this, this is what happens. Which is also the reason they need to get an upgrade, because they need a bigger space. And here we have the brand new nest we're putting them into. This is one of our do-it-yourself project for Macarons made from gypsum. As you can see with the Atwar, they got a nice little desert scene. They already got their feeders ready to go. We're just going to take a second to look at this and just bask in its beauty. This took a lot of work. I think it turned out pretty nice and I think the ants are going to love it. We're outside here in the sunlight. It's a beautiful day outside. These ants are <laughs> obviously ready to make this happen. See them energetic in the sunlight. And we're going to get ready to move them into this new nest and see the chaos begin. Now that we've removed the glass, everything is set in motion. These ants are going to spend quite some time moving their food, larvae, and queen to the better conditions, which is, of course, the new nest. So, let's sit back, relax, and watch these ants get to work.
Looks like the queen's still holding out on me, and of course, since she has not moved, the brood is still inside the mini hearths. So the chaos will rage on for quite some more time until they convince her to move. We'll see how long this takes. The worker traffic in and out of the nest is actually accelerating quite a bit now, so hopefully they're actually preparing for the move and are convinced the queen and the rest of the workers to follow suit. This is accomplished by what is known as a quorum. In a way, the ants are actually voting on where they should move their brood, the queen, and other materials to better conditions. As each individual ant goes to a point of interest, naturally where they're going to go to look for better conditions, they're marking it with a pheromone. As more ants come to the same point of interest or location and apply more pheromone, the stronger the pheromone gets. And this is how ants are essentially voting on where to go or what to do. These stronger or more frequently reinforced pheromones attract more ants and as a result drive the particular behavior that was desired. Looks like our queen is finally on the move. <laughs> now whether she gets to where we want her to go in a reasonable amount of time is yet to be seen, so we'll take a look and see what happens. She seems to have missed the exit ramp on this highway. Oh, so that's how it's going to be, huh? Now that's more like it. Now that she's securely in the nest, the traffic of the brood and seeds should pick up quite a bit as the ants follow her pheromones deeper inside the nest. Here I'm using a heating pad made by Zoomed to warm this portion of the nest. The ants, as expected, began moving their pupa here where it's not only just warmer but drier away from the moisture in the back of the nest. Here you can see the workers have been bringing in the larvae. Naturally they're putting them as close to the moisture as they can. Now we're going to add some new seeds for the ants to harvest. These seeds in particular are known as the Kentucky Bluegrass Seed. As a lot of you probably already know, the Ghana Mimex are a seed harvesting ant. Seeds are an essential part of their diet for the larvae and they have to have these to develop properly. They of course can scavenge insects, but the primary nutrition is from the seeds they husk and bring into the nest.
the ants are now mostly settled into the new nest. So let's take a little tour and see how things are. Everything seems to be in its proper order, and as these ants continue to grow in this nest, we'll keep you updated. If you enjoy this content, please give it a like, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.